today. AMD released a new CPU. 14th Gen CPUs get pricing and specs. AMD is making everything 3D. And AMD is releasing a wild new GPU this week. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, AMD has officially released their new Ryzen 7000 CPU without integrated graphics. And it's actually a really interesting part. For starters, we're talking about the Ryzen 5 7500F, which is a 6-core, 12-thread CPU with a boost clock of 5GHz, 38MB of combined L2 and L3 cache, and comes in at a very impressive $179. And it's that price that really sets this CPU apart from others. Oh, and if you're interested in picking one up, I'll have affiliate links down in the description below. It won't cost you anything more and it helps the channel out, though it may not be available when you watch this, but I'll get to that in a second. Either way, reviews have already been posted in China, and as you can see, in multi-threaded workloads, the 7500F somewhat trades blows with the 13400, but when it comes to gaming, overall, the 7500F beats not only the 13400, but even the 13500, which costs over 230 bucks. Many this CPU is a fantastic deal for budget gamers. With that said, when it comes to availability, for now, it seems to only be on sale in China, but it's actually listed on AMD's global page, so it may come to other regions soon. Meaning if you're interested, I check back periodically and click on the links below to see if it's available near you. Fingers crossed it will be soon. Next up for today, we have pricing and spec info on Intel's 14th gen CPUs. But before I get to that, you've got to quit wasting money on all these expensive VPNs. Instead, save money for other things you need with the VPN I trust that's just $1.83 a month with today's sponsor, Atlas VPN. And don't let that price fool you. Atlas VPN is a top tier service with loads of features. Of course, they encrypt your IP address to keep your data private. Because let's be honest, everyone's after your data these days. But Atlas VPN also lets you unblock some of your favorite shows on streaming apps like Netflix. Plus, they even block malicious links, ads, and trackers. And get this, one subscription gets you Atlas VPN on an unlimited number of devices, so you can stay logged in everywhere. But don't take my word for it, because Atlas VPN is so confident in their service, you can get a full refund within 30 days after you sign up. So don't wait any longer and get all of this for just $1.83 a month for three years plus three months free. Just visit my link in the description below. Now back to the story. This one originally comes from a known leaker on Twitter and later reported by video cards. As you can see, we have the full lineup of 14th gen non-K parts. Starting things off, we have the 14400, which is a 10 cores, 16 thread CPU with a base clock of 2.5 gigahertz and 20 megabytes of L3 cache. Then we have the 14500, which is a 14 core, 20 thread CPU with a base clock of 2.6 gigahertz and 24 megabytes of L3 cache. Then we have the 14000 1600, which is also a 14 core, 20 thread CPU with a 2.7 gigahertz base clock. Next is the 14700, and this one actually gets a boost in cores from 16 cores and 24 threads to 20 cores and 28 threads. This part has a base clock of 2.1 gigahertz and a slight boost of 33 megabytes of L3 cache. Finally is the 14900, which comes with 24 cores and 32 threads, a base clock of 2 gigahertz, and 36 megabytes of L3 cache. Basically, there aren't too many differences here, other than the 700 CPU getting a slight boost in core. So far, rumors point to this being the same architecture as 13th gen, so I definitely wouldn't expect a big jump in performance. This is of course a refresh after all, but even with that, it's a bit disappointing. One good thing is that according to the leak, the pricing of 14th gen looks to be the same as last gen. So that's a plus, but also not a big surprise. Next up, AMD is actually planning to make everything 3D. They've already expanded their 5800X3D to a full lineup of desktop parts with the 7000X3D CPUs. They also released it across their server line, but there's one area AMD hasn't gone 3D in, at least until now. In a new post from known leaker HXL, you can see that he shared something from the Weibo forums. It's called the 7945HX3D, and based on the name, you've probably already guessed that this is for notebooks. Not only that, but an ASUS laptop has popped up on a retailer with this CPU. And let's just say that it's one monster chip. 
According to the post, we're looking at a 16-core, 32-thread CPU with a whopping 128 megabytes of L3 cache. And I can actually say that I've more or less confirmed with a very reliable source they actually should be going out to reviewers before long. And of course, just like their desktop counterparts, this should make for a great all-around CPU. It'll be great at professional workloads because we're talking about a 16-core chip based on the Zen 4 architecture, but also great at gaming because it includes that huge amount of cash. At the end of the day, I think it'll be a very interesting release. We'll just have to see how well it translates to notebook chips. And lastly for today, AMD looks set to finally release a new GPU. And get this, it's apparently coming this week. It's called the RX 7900 GRE, which stands for Golden Rabbit Edition. Yeah, you definitely weren't expecting that, but it's actually coming. We already have some box art, the GPU itself, and a ton more. So starting things off, you can see that it is actually called the 7900 GRE. And in terms of specs, it comes with 84 CUs or 5,376 cores, which you may notice is exactly what the 7900 XT has. In fact, according to one report, it even has the same same boost clock as the 7900 XT at 2395 megahertz. But the similarities stop there. Instead of 20 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, the GRE version has 16. It also only has a 256 bit bus compared to the 320 bit bus of the 7900 XT. Next, it has a total board power of 300 watts, so 15 watts lower than the 7900 XT. A really interesting feature of the new card is its actual size. As you can see, when comparing the Sapphire Knight Nitro GRE version to the Nitro 7900 XT, the new GRE PCB is quite a bit narrower with a different SMD layout and fewer power connectors. In fact, some are speculating that this could be a recently rumored hybrid of Navi 31 and Navi 32. This would explain why the PCB is so much different from the 7900 XT, yet is very similar in specs. Regardless, this is a really interesting launch. Unfortunately, there's a chance that it could be a China-only release. With that said, we really aren't sure as of the writing of this video, so it may make its way to other regions. Time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, does the 7900 GRE sound interesting or are you more interested in 3D Vcash coming to notebooks? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Atlas VPN down in the description below. And as always, have a great day.